about Shepard. He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers of Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, the, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. <sighs> Had to speak quickly there. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's... Fairly true, I'd say. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we meet you the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He Skip sounds set. angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Uh, yeah. What you saw there was just a... Um, the, how the conversations work in this game. You um, talk to folks, it's all voice um, acted, so I don't have to read out anything, uh, fortunately. Because uh, you'll see how bad I am at that if you see my Final Fantasy or Baldur's Gate series. Um, but yeah, and you have uh, a wheel of different responses that you can choose from. Um, usually the right side of that wheel advances the conversation, the left side is looking for information. Uh, the reason I'm hanging around is I'm going to have a quick word with the people around here, just see... You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Fine. The captain's uh, waiting for you. Uh, oh, it looks like actually there's nothing for me to do here. I've just got to go speak to the captain. That will. Uh, oh, navigator Presley's talking. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an As usual, I'll go quiet when I hear people speaking in the background. If it's like minor, I won't bother. But I'll try and let you hear all the. Congratulations, talking. Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. 
You heading down to see the captain? Uh, what was he arguing about? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Hmm. It doesn't add up. You may have a point. Um, let's just ask him. Turian don't Spectre? Trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Looks like this guy's a little... Uh, got a bit of um, prejudice, but to be fair, you know, um, <coughs> he lost family in a war against these, this race. It's not something you're going to forget, is it? Uh, unfortunately. But, to be fair, that was, lo that was long ago. That was 30 years ago. You need to try, you try and get over it a little. That. At the very least. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. By the way, you may notice um, I'm going to be answering, like I'm going to be choosing responses that uh, I kind of think. Um, well, I like the idea of an honesty. I'm not going to be fully uh, role-playing Beanie Shepherd here. Um, in the end, he's going to turn out um, as like he would if um, I was answering all the questions as I would if they were asked to me. Um, so, throwing myself into the game, so to speak. Although, I'll admit, uh, Beanie Shepherd's probably a bit more impressive of a, uh, a gun than I am. By just, just a little, honestly. But anyhow, let's ask about the captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Is it wrong that I just now want to join the military to try and get enough medals to melt down and build a statue of myself? That's uh, probably a little uh, impossible for me. But, uh, but worth a try, totally. I wonder about how many purple hearts I can get. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Yeah? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Uh, I'll look into I'll it. See if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. You've got a crew. You want to make sure that um, they're all happy with the job they're doing, aren't you? Otherwise, they're not going to do the job as well as they can. Too many spy leads, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Yeah, I've got to say, you don't want to be um, asking for a fight. Uh, you need to calm down, relax. Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. I'm sure he'll do Just fine. Just read this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, There's no rush. Okay. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. See what, what they know can about you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. 
As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. So basically, the Turians are the more military-based of the um, three council races, it would seem. Uh, let's see, the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. But there are no human Spectres. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Hmm. Do some dangerous but uh... Eden Prime? What's this planet we're You're from Eden going Prime, to, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But, when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we getting that? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Hmm. All right, we've asked everything we can of these two, so let's leave the captain's waiting for go me. see the captain. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Hmm. So that's something to think about. Um, Nihilus isn't just like another member of the ship's crew. He's actually a almost a secret agent style uh, character. I suppose you could consider the uh, Spectres as uh, secret agents without rules, really. Ooh. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Um, where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Hmm? No, uh, no reason to be, um, uh, curt of him. I'll... Apparently, uh, it's beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? That doesn't sound at all threatening. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah, we kind of figured that out. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Mm, I suppose covert pickup means secrecy, but could have told the crew. There why must secrecy? be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Prothean. Now, the Protheans are the creators of the Mass Effect relay. Um, and an extinct, basically the extinct uh, ancient species that uh, created all the technology used by these spe uh, by uh, humans and the other alien races uh, during this setting. So, Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, ship. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. 
We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um... Why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the so only reason we do I'm get something out of it. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. And only 30 years after a war with um, our species, that's quite a um, open uh, personality nice as they are. Gotta say, I quite, quite like him. Uh, you spot this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. Um, we've asked about the Proteans. Is there anything else I can tell about what the Proteans? What do you know about the Proteans? Just what they taught us at school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Uh, what about Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Yeah, if this beacon is what they say it is, uh, but what about the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Uh, like what hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The what systems? <laughs> the Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay, well, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, 
Repeat, handing casualties. We can't. We need evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Huh. out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Yeah, isn't Status this supposed report. to be a peaceful farming world? 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hmm. Engaging stealth systems. Well, this promise this mission certainly promises to be a lot more action packed than originally. Doing some serious dig in here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay, then. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Well, we've touched down, and for the first uh, time in the game, we have the ability to pull out weapons. Um, Okay, what's he? Uh, Q gets out weapon and put that gets out the weapon and puts it away. Uh, oh, off throws grenades. Uh, yeah, and then it it detonates them as well. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. So I'm just having a look to see. I'm walking. Press C to run. Uh, okay, that toggles. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting used to the buttons there, folks. Um, I realize this probably isn't the best uh, bit show. Ooh. That brings up our mission summary. So we've got to go and find the beacon. Uh, it looks like Nihilus is approaching it and will be offering us intel as we uh, get there. Which is always good to have somebody's uh, eyes on you from a um, better position, getting a bit more of an overview of the um, battlefield. Um, let's... Uh Looks like the mouse wheel skips through your weapons, which is cool. Ooh, oh, that sniper rifle is very inaccurate. Especially when, oh, and it's so hard to hold still. Like, not moving with my mouse here, this is how much it moves. Well, not very stable. Uh, I think I'll stick with the pistol just for now. Um, let's have a li quick look at uh, the squad and such. So, we've got a couple of points to spend, uh, I believe. Yep, three points. And now, usually it's worth throwing, uh, like maxing out the charm or the intimidate straight off. Um, you open up uh, like a uh, higher max of these by increasing your paragon or your renegade levels, and they offer you new ability, uh, new speech options basically. Um, some of which can be very useful. You can um, get a lot more from using charm or intimidate. To end the conversation than not doing usually. So I'm gonna max that out. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna think about that. It's uh, I think it's best bet to do. So let's go on to Caden. Uh, as I say, I'm leveling up all my squad as well. Uh, may as well give him. Mm, does this uh, this gives him for? Let's give him first aid and barrier just so he's got those abilities. Um, I figure it's better off to give him the even if it's, uh, they're not very upgraded. Giving him the base abilities is a good way. And Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins? Jenkins. Um, again, may as well. Oh, pistols didn't actually have an ability, but either way, that works. 
Um, and that's that. Quick look at the codex. I'm not going to go for everything on the codex because you get so many things on this that it would take. I'd have several episodes just solely on that. Um, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, however, with that, I think before we actually throw ourselves into the uh, mission, I'm going to call it quits. <laughs> um, at least for this episode. So. I hope you enjoyed this, folks. There's been a lot of talking, but I can probably promise that there's going to be a lot of action in the next episode. And uh, with that, I will say catch you later, folks. Uh, <laughs> goodbye.